Good food is good health, and Americans have plenty of both. These are the basic foods that nourish 140 million Americans every day in the year. Bread, milk, eggs, fruit, meat, and poultry. One of the basic food commodities for basic health Chicken ranks high among the favorite national dishes throughout the world. In Hungary, it is chicken paprikash. In Italy, it is chicken cacciatore. In Mexico, Spain, and throughout Latin America, it is arroz con polla, chicken with rice and southern fried. No matter where or how chicken is prepared, none is so delicious as this favorite American way known to all far and wide. Chicken is universally popular and its consumption in the United States marks it a high favorite. It has been estimated that over two and a half billion pounds of chicken are eaten annually by the people of the United States. That's a lot of chicken dinners in any language and a lot of health because it is wholesome, nutritious, and easily digestible. Roasted, broiled, fried, or barbecued, chicken is enjoyed by all young and old, and is often the first meat fed to babies. Thus, to the consumer-wise housewife, chicken and chicken products supply health, flavor, and value. And in 1943, with chicken consumption growing ever greater, women shoppers found that chicken was becoming scarce. It was hard to get. No matter how early women went to shop, the answer was always the same. Because of the tremendous amount of food that must constantly be supplied to our fighting forces, wherever they are, civilians at home will have to decrease their consumption of that most versatile of all meats, chicken. Housewives will now find their culinary ingenuity put to a real test. Chicken, although unrationed, is being requisitioned by the government for use by our armed forces. The government is intent on maintaining our armed forces as the best fed the healthiest soldiers in the world. Because of its superior food values and adaptability, because of its high protein, mineral, and vitamin content, chicken was served to our armed forces from Iceland to Australia, from the Aleutians to Madagascar. Chicken may be simply and effectively prepared in many ways, and its full flavor retained. One of the prime reasons why the men in uniform continue to favor chicken. It's tops in good eating and good health. Chicken has been established as one of the greatest morale builders in hospitals and rehabilitation centers for combat troops coming out of the battle line. And in December 1944, Delmarva chicken went to war. The Delmarva Peninsula has long been noted as one of the finest chicken growing areas in the world. Its geographic location, 
and its mild climate make it ideal for raising the highest quality poultry. This is the land. Rich, flat land, known as the Delmarva Peninsula. Nearly 300 miles long, the greater part of this area is used for the production of poultry meat. This region includes two counties in Delaware, four of Maryland, and one of Virginia. Its name, a combination of Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, Delmarva. Situated between the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean, and favored by climatic conditions, the peninsula area is mild in winter and cool in summer. To these shores in the early part of the 17th century sailed colonists from England, Holland, and Sweden. Seeking a new land and a new freedom. These people came and were welcomed by the friendly Indians who helped them to establish homes and taught them how to hunt, to fish, and to cultivate the land. Here in this new and fertile land, here on the eastern shore, on the peninsula, they settled and toiled, and with the years found a culture which is both American and unique. 